Good morning, my brothers. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Hey, are you as pumped as I am that it's Master's Week? And if I'm transparent with you guys, honest of the emotion that rises up in, within me this week of knowing it's the anniversary of when I went down in 97, the year of Tiger Woods, big victory to coming home to hearing Leslie say I'm out of this marriage. And then 13 years later, after that, in 2010, I had the privilege and opportunity to share the Inuscript story, my testimony, at the Master's Prayer Breakfast with um, the church partner of Warren Baptist, uh, Chap Warren Baptist Church in Augusta. Uh, there was a little over a thousand people in attendance in their gymnasium and with Leslie being there, sitting down at that front table, and Jack and Marcia Countryman sitting there, um, good friends Tom and Carol Abernathy from Atlanta, I was deeply uh, moved, humbled, and the pastor just said, make sure you share a gospel presentation afterwards, because you never know where people are at. And it's amazing how God can bring us full circle when we really stand firm for him. And that day, over 20 people came to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, rededicated their life. And remember, it would be all worth it, all worth it, if just one person made a decision to follow Jesus. And now we're, gosh, 11 years later, just to see where God's taking the ministry. It's super humbling, but this verse definitely rised up, rose up for me as we look into Luke chapter 21. My verse was 19. Are you ready? My G is, by standing firm, you will gain life. So my R, my reveal is, the world appears to be moving further and further and further away from God. Good morals, good values are crumbling. So that's my reveal. My I is I must continue to build my foundation on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. This gives me the courage and the hope to stand firm for Jesus. My P, my prayer back to God, Lord Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit so that I can bring the hope and courage that are people are longing for that only can be found in a personal relationship with you. Amen. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for all your encouragement and just super humbled to see what God's doing in and through uh, the ministry. I pray that uh, you're continuing to grow in your relationship. Stay committed to that daily tea time uh, with the Lord. Again, if you're looking for community, want to plug in to our weekly Zoom calls, just please let me know. And I want to also let you guys know, Wednesday night, 8 o'clock Central Time, we'll be interviewing Jack Countryman, my mentor, 91 years old, on his faith journey and his story. You guys will be deeply moved, deeply inspired. And so please uh, join us for that. At 7 o'clock, the hour earlier, we'll go ahead and grip the, the verse for the week. So let me close this out with a word of prayer. Uh, just bless you guys. Heavenly Father, thank you, God, as we open up your word to really take the, the words of to stand firm and there will be life as we stand for you. So, Lord, build us into the men you need us to be, to stand into this world, to draw others to you. God, it seems like the line is being drawn. Is it going to be all about you or is it all going to be about the world? And Lord, for me and my house, we will serve you, Lord Jesus. It's in your powerful name that we pray. Amen. All right. God bless you guys.